Hi, I'm Aditya Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I'm visiting Fat Quarter Shop. It is so confusing sometimes to choose your fusible webbing. I totally get it. So I brought some fusible webbings to share with you and tell you all about it. What is the reason why I choose one over the other sometimes? I choose my fusible webbings depends on a project that I'm gonna work with. Some fusible webbings are better than the other, depends what you wanted to do with it. Fusible webbings, when you work with them, you have to remember that you're using an iron and a heat to release those fusible webbing from a paper or fuse it to the fabric. So the heat on your uh, iron is very important. I believe less is better. Sometimes we try to overheat our fusible webbings. So what I recommend is when you're pressing, make sure you don't have a silver ironing board because that reflects the heat up and it melts the fusible webbing much faster and sometimes we're not fast enough to work with it. Another tip that I wanted to give it to you is don't ever put water in your iron when you're working with fusible webbings. No steam does not work together. So now I brought some fusible webbings for you to look at it. The most common ones are lightweight heat and bound, I have a product that we make with Steamacine 2 Light. I also brought Wonder Under and Misty Fuse. Lightweight Heat and Bound is one that is a paper netting right on it and you can trace your design right to the paper and then fuse it into the uh, shape and then fuse it to the background. I like this one because it gives me very nice raw edges. And fusible applique, we have to think about do we want the edges to fray or do we want them nice and raw? So this one is great, gives me great raw edges. It does get a little stiff if you overpress. So when you're working with fusible webbing, you have to remember less heat is better. So press it twice sometimes to release the fusible webbing before you overpress and it gets stiff. The next one is the Steamer Seam 2 Light. That one is hard to find right now on the market. We use it on our silhouettes and uh, what it's nice about this one is that you can peel the paper away and it has a little sticky on it and you can position your pieces on your background and step back, look at, at your design and then if they are in the right places you can press them down. So I really like that one, especially when I'm designing something or making art quilts, it works great. It gives me nice raw edges. It does get slow gooey when you uh, stitch. So when you quilt, you have to remember, or when you stitch over, you have to remember, stop, clean your needle off with that little alcohol wipes, and it's gonna work great. Use Macrotex needle when you're stitching over fusible webbing. That helps also. The next fusible webbings are One the Under and Misty Fuse. Both of them are super soft. So those two would be my choice for baby quilts and quilts that I wanted to get nice and stuffed. With the softness of the fusible webbing, we don't get as good raw edges. The edges fray just a little bit more than the previous two that I tell you about it. So what I recommend is use it and be okay with it that some of the edges will fray and maybe that's the look you're looking for, some low Chanel edge around the edges. So those two I would choose for a baby quilts, project that I would use all the time because of the softness. Let's look at some examples. This particular quilt has low heart shapes on it and I use lightweight heat and bound to trace my shapes to it, cut it and fuse it into the background. When I do that, I like to cut out the centers of my hearts when they're larger shape. This small one, I did not cut out the centers. It was too small of a shape and I thought this is gonna be low table topper or wall hanging. So I left it as that. I stitched it with a lovely low button stitch around it and my edges are not going to fray too much because my stitch is protecting the edges of it. Now the next one is seasonal silhouettes and this one, I use the Steam Seam 2. Remember, the one with the low sticky. It is so much fun and it's so helpful to have the low sticky on it because you can position all your low shapes, look at it, and they don't move around the background. And that way you can press it and quilt it in place and enjoy it. So this one has a Steam Seam 2 light on it 
also good for quilting and stitching over. And last one, you can take the show on a road with this low car and use Wonder Under or Misty Fuse. Both of those products are great for soft children's quilt, quilts that you're planning to wash, use it and enjoy it. And if you ask me how long fusible webbing lasts, I have to tell you, nothing lasts forever. But the good news is that you get to make another quilt. <laughs>